that is one unhappy chainsaw. Hey guys, welcome back to Bush Rats. Get here in the bush with Young Lee um, for another chainsaw episode. So I've been wheeling and dealing on the old gum tree marketplace, and I was got my eye on like an OE38, uh, one of these bad boys. I've seen three come up for pretty much the price of one, so I so will take a punt on them, risk it for the biscuit, and here we are. We've got all three. We've got three different models here. We're just going to try them all out. I actually, haven't started or ran any of these yet. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We've got a bit of wood up the back here. We're going to try them out on Not going to get a load or anything, but uh, just make sure they all work and see if we've got a good deal here or not So the 038 This bad boy here Came out in 1980. This is the AV version. So the base model one. It's kind of like your Commodore. This is the executive uh, versus your S pack and your SS so 1980s this one here is a 63 61 cc uh, so that was the first one to come out so this one's obviously the oldest she's got the um magnesium case on the bottom not much plastic in it other than the covers and we're running an 18 inch bar today that came with them we're going to try the chain and the bar on all of them so it's a bit of a fair run and a few years later they brought out the oh, wrong one. the super so this one here is probably in the best nick out of all of them. Plastics look all real nice. Doesn't look too tampered with, not too many scratches or anything. This one here is a 67 cc. It came out a few years later. So the main difference I think this one's got a bigger cylinder and a bigger piston and this one and the mag, which is the next one, the magnum. They have a dual port exhaust. But other than that, all pretty much and much. So that's the super. Next one was the mag. So this is the one that I really wanted. She looks a bit old. This one actually looks a little bit bunky. It's probably the worst one out of the lot. She's had a repair on the bottom case there. Must have had a crack. That's them three there. Picked them up for nice and cheap. So we're just going to sort of see what we've got here. Compare them all. It's not really a fair comparison because they're all different ages and different specs and all been through some different stuff in their, their lifetimes. The first one we're going to start off with is the base model. Brand new chain on an 18 inch bar, so we will fire up and see how she goes, eh? Let's get into it. Checked all the spark plugs on these, they've all got spark. Let's see if they go. Choke on. It's a bloody good sign that one. Safety gear, ready to go. Got a decent little log here. A bit bigger than the bar, so we may have to be double cutting today. Um, but we're just going to give them one or two rings each, test them out, make sure they cut. 083 AV, base model.
Not bad, not bad at all. Chain's come a little loose. Doesn't seem to be spitting a lot of oil on the bar either. May have to turn that up. Yeah. For a good fire wooden saw, 038 AB. I wouldn't be mad with that, so. Let's pack this old girl away. Let's go try another one. was turned right down on that one so I'm um, sure she will spit chips fine next time. I'm just going to pull the bar and chain off of this one. Whack it onto the super. I think we'll go to the super next. We'll work in order of smallest to biggest. 038 AB, good purchase so far. Next on the agenda, the super, 67 cc's. Just realise I'm standing in an ant's nest. Ah, gotta be quick. See if she runs. All right, can't remember how many pulls the other one took, but give this one a go. Choke on. One, that's a good sign. Super goes well. I've got my glasses, and straight away you get a little wood chip in your eyes. So safety first, people. We'll remember them next one. Gloves. Same deal. Pull the bar off. Let's put it on the Magnum. Right. Now this one, I don't know, two for three is not bad, you know, like I said, I bought them for a bargain. So I'm assuming there might be something wrong with one of them. We'll put this bar on. All right, first issue, the cap for the oil is missing half of its thread. It's about a $10 fix, so it's not bad. Let's fire this bad boy out. So straight away I've noticed a leak uh, coming from, looks like this dodgy repair job on the bottom. So 10 bucks for a new oil cap and probably about 80 to 100 bucks for a new handle fuel tank. See if she even goes first. Choke, on. We in frame? We're in frame. Rope's coming out. Need some tools. Alright, so this is playing with old source for you. There's always 
fucking something. But that's half the fun. Keeps you busy, keeps you off the streets. I'm just going to pull this cover off. As you pull this system there, I think. Oh, there you go. She's just a little jam. She just gets a little jammy. Bit grindy in there, so you may have a spare one of these at home, or we'll just pull it apart, give it a good clean, lube her up, right, put it back together. All right, all right, let's try that again. She's got some issues. But she may not be getting enough fuel as we give her some gas, she kind of dies out. So, mini screwdriver into the low jet. Maybe she's out of fuel. Still got fuel, fuel filter looks fine. Brand new air cleaner on it, but look at it. So it may be a car be issue, so maybe a bit of a clean out. See if we can get one cut out of it. See if we can just get her chugging away. We'll be back in five. Bit of fiddling with the carby, I think she may have a carby issue, so she probably needs a rebuild, same as every old chainsaw. But let's go see if we can get it to cut. One bit of wood, She's leaking fuel everywhere. All right, let's see how the old girl handles some pressure. Not happy. That is one unhappy chainsaw. So we're coming out of the muffler, so I'm no expert, but I don't know what I've done. Let's put her away. It's been a fun time. All right, so the anxiety's kicked in. I've decided to pull the muffler off just to make sure I haven't done any Real major damage. And I'll see if, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but if you get in close there, piston all looks still pretty good. No scoring, nothing's black. Still got the compressions, leaking fuel everywhere. So, yet to diagnose. It could be like a pressure problem with the hole in the tank. I don't know if the tank, I don't even know where the crack is. So we'll pull it fully apart. Muffler all looks good. Put this back together at home. Carby obviously needs pulling apart as well, I think. We'll find out. Still sounds alright, still chugging away, 
we have to pull her apart and spend some hours together in the shed. There we go guys, 038 Magnum, 72 cc's of pure power when she wants to work. There's the new toys, um, picked them all up for a nice cheap price, I thought it was pretty cheap but I'm going to put a comment down below right now, let me know what you think I paid for these. It's alright, I'll wait. Eight hundred bucks. So I paid eight hundred bucks for all three of them. A couple of parts with some other, uh, for some other saws as well, um, which I think wasn't too bad of a deal. So obviously two are running real well, one not so much. And my plan was to keep. I only wanted to keep one of them, so it looks like I might be keeping the Magnum. You break it, you buy it. Um, but yeah, which one would you guys keep? Would you keep the big powerhouse and try and fix that bad boy up, or would you keep the super clean uh, super, super clean super? There you go. Um, or just the run of the mill AV. So leave a comment below, let me know if you had a good time here. Chainsaws, it's coming into the end of winter now, so we'll be gonna probably stop on this soon. Might do a video on how to clean them up, pack them away for the summer, and then it's back into fishing. We've got marron season coming up soon. So if you've got something out of this one, or you want to see some more action, like and subscribe. Merch, we've been a bit slow on the merch side of things, but we've got some new merch coming soon. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay chipper, and we will see you guys out on the tracks. Yo. Might actually have a bit more of a play with this one.